Hello guys, uh, it's me, uh, I'm back, uh, in Hypixel again, and uh, today it's going to be a very special video because it's starting off a very special series. This is a series that has been in the works for about six months now, and it was actually my first idea on what to do on this server as a video series. So today I'm going to introduce you guys to what I call the Long Minion Game. So basically a quick overview is on Skyblock. Uh, as you can see behind me, um, we have minions. And they're basically people that you can upgrade and craft and they will... Basically, that was a huge lag spike, oh my gosh, okay. Uh, I was like, what? Um, so basically these minions, they work for you 24 hours every day, 7 days a week, 300, like all year long, right? 24-7. And you can upgrade them and mess with them. And right now the meta, and what's been the meta pretty much since the game came out, or since the update that had it came out, was that people get tier 11 snow minions which are these things right here and then right now I have a max minion slot of 22 so for me I would have you know but uh, for me I would have 22 but the max right now is 29 that you can get so anyways people would get 29 of these things tier 11 max they would get a uh, uh, enchanted lava buck inside and they would just let it roll and that's their minions and that's the way they make money and believe me it does make a lot of money but I wanted to do something special I wanted to see what all of these other minions can do because there are a bunch of other minions that perhaps when tried out can make a ton of money as well so I developed the system and this project, which I call the Minion Game, which is basically I'm going to get six tier 11 minion of each type. And basically, this series is going to have one video talking about one of these uh, minions, which I have six tier 11s of, and see its benefits, if it's worth it, if it's worth the time put into it. And basically what I want to do is I want to eventually have just tier 11s of every single type of minion. And then let's say in the bazaar, which is like the community shop, let's say on one material the price skyrocketed. And it can make a lot, I can make a lot of money. I can just plop six of that tier 11 minion and make a ton of money. And But that takes a lot of time. It's going to take me around three years to get every single tier 11 minion. Uh, six of each tier 11. It's going to take me around three real lifetime years to do it. But after three years, you know, I'll have each type of minion and I'll be able to make money off them whenever the bizarre switches and changes. Now in those three years I could make a ton of money from snow minions. That's the easy route. But I'm, go I'm doing it the hard route. And basically the point of the series is I'm doing this for you guys so you guys don't have to do it, right? So then you guys can go back and see, okay, this minion worked really well, this minion didn't work really well, so I'm going to choose to get this minion and not even touch the other minion. And that's like kind of the service I want to give you guys. Because like on YouTube right now it's just like, oh, this minion's OP and makes this much money, this much money. Like in my guide, I'm going to show you, through my experience, how much each minion gave in this certain amount of time and just how much resources it gave because resources and how much they cost changes over time. So there's no point in me making a video telling you how much money these make right now because they'll make something else a week later. So I'm going to give you how much resources they generate right now or any time in the future of Skyblock. These numbers will never change, so this is forever. And I actually made a spreadsheet that you can see down in the description that will have all this info there for you, so you don't have to keep replaying the video. 
but I'm going to go over it basically right now. This first video, episode one of this minion game, as I call it, is going to be featuring the redstone minion. Now, the redstone minion was part of two minions in my first batch, which is the redstone and the cobblestone minions. And let's just say... Worst, worst idea ever. You know, I, 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 this first episode is gonna be a bit of a doozy because, in my experience, redstone minions are by far the worst minions you could ever spend time upgrading, because the devs they messed up. Uh, they messed up. They input. They did the math wrong. They did not input these numbers correctly. The devs messed up. The devs messed up. Um, so upgrading these does not make sense because it won't pay off and they're not even worth a lot of money anyways so they're not even good for money anyways uh, but I'm gonna do the red some minions since that's what I did work on and my original plan was to get this done in three three and a half months and get the next minions rolling it's been six months people and I'm finally ready to do this, do this video because these red some minions they're horrible they're horrible um, I don't know why you would ever want to get them, but, um, here they are. Um, okay. So, these redstone minions, which I have five up here, and then one over there, so six in total. In total, all six of them make 81,000 redstone a day. Okay? And then one of them in a day makes 13,500, just for number's sake. Um... Six of these in a week make 567,000 redstone. That's over half a million redstone. And you're talking, oh, then why'd you say it was bad? 500, over half a million redstone is really good in a week, right? Here's the issue. Here's where the devs messed up. The cost of getting one, just one, not six, just one of these tier 11 redstone minions just the cost of getting one of them to tier 11 is 773,944 redstone that means that if i had to start off which i didn't i start off at tier 1 but if i had to start off six tier 11 redstone minions they do not make enough money maxed in a week to even pay for one of these to tier 11. So when I was over here having tier 7 and tier 9s of these, which make of course less redstone, it really took a horribly wrong, uh, long time to just get one of these to tier 11. And that's where the devs messed up, because the general rule of thumb in minions is six max tiers of that minion usually should make more in a week than it costs to upgrade one to tier 11. And redstone minions do not follow that rule. And then it gets worse. To get six of these minions to tier 11, which I did, it takes 4,643,664 redstone. 4.65 mil redstone, people. 4.65 mil redstone. That's a lot of redstone. At max, if I start off at max, which no one starts off at max, where they have all 6 to tier 11 already, it would take 57 days. Now in reality, when we're using tier 7 and tier 9s, it takes at least 120 real life days to get enough redstone to get six of these to tier 11. 120 days. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a long, long time. And then after you finally get to max them out to tier 11, you have to actually wait for them to generate the redstone needed to get all the stuff you wanted, all the craftables you wanted to make from it. And after you make all the craftables from it, all I've done is store it because it's not worth selling. It used to be worth over 90k in the shop, now it's worth 30k. Um, so it's not worth selling at all. Um, so these things are bad for money, 
horrible time waste, and the devs messed up. The cost of six of these is just insane to what they actually generate. Um, episode two of this series will be Cobblestone, and those are actually minions that were done correctly, and the devs did not mess up on those, and you'll be able to see the difference between this redstone minion and other minions, and how minions are supposed to be uh, calculated. So anyways, this is really just episode one of, and this episode is the redstone minion. My take, not worth the time, not worth grinding, don't get them. Pay the money to get one to tier 11 to get your minion slots, and then throw it away. Just throw it away. It's not worth having, or it's, it's just not worth. It's not worth. And just to prove it, if I look at rankings, I have a total of 6.9 6 mil redstone already like created. And that's over the last six months. So, to end this video off, I'm just going to collect these. I have not collected these in months. So, let's collect them. And then this is what I basically got from them. I've been saving these mats up in them. And by the way, in all of my minion videos, I'm going to have enchant lava buckets. Uh, I calculate everything with the enchant lava buckets because if you're doing this long minion game, you need to have enchant lava buckets. Or if you're just making minions for money, also you need enchant lava buckets. So anyways guys, that is episode one of the long minion game redstone minions tier 11 huge waste of time never again hopefully in the next videos and the next minions i do they'll be more worth it so guys that'll be it for me and uh see you guys later peace